Nee, zo is het bij. Yeah, don't see that long ago. You was out in Blackpool, was it five, six weeks yeah, ago? Five, six weeks ago, I think, yeah. Made a nice win in return and uh, looking good in doing it against uh, Curtis Pigaro, who sometimes can make a good fight and look terrible, but not that night, mate. No, I enjoyed it, you know. Practiced a few things in gym and then on the night managed to get them off, so took a lot of positives from that, really. Definitely. So, I, um, I've been watching you, I mean, follow you on Facebook and uh, you just show it off now, you are. You've been moving around <laughs> with everyone, haven't you? Yeah, I've had some good sparring, yeah. Uh, Rocky Fielding, uh, Darrell Williams, Callum Smith. Uh, so, yeah, some big names. There. This is the elite uh, of uh, British boxing. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, you know, to have the experience to like, be part of sparring with them. You know, so I've learned a lot from it, so, yeah. Definitely. And, uh, do you know, we, I know we, we keep going back to it, and it probably pees you off a little bit, but the, uh, the defeat to Carlisle, it was a a points defeat, it was nothing, you know, nothing serious decision, or anything. Wasn't it? Decision. it was a decision. decision. And a decision that I felt was wrong, you felt was wrong, yeah. but it was a decision. And instead of letting it get you down, I think you've used it as fuel to, to drive yourself forward and, and drive yourself forward in your career. Yeah, I think I have. It's just, just made me want it more and train harder and put a few things right, you know, what maybe I weren't doing right before. So it's just made me hungrier, really. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I just brought you moving down there with uh, Jack McGannon, who's a, yeah. a top MMA fighter, and he's fought to his boxing as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that was a, a, just four rounds, that was it? Yeah, just four for his, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think it was his first battle because he damaged his leg, didn't he? Yeah, he's just, um, just come back in gym, so just, just a nice four rounds there. But realistic, and like I say, the people that you've been moving around with, such as Callum Smith and Rocky and all these, must give you great encouragement for these next few fights. Yeah, well, the big hitters, aren't they? So I know that I can stand there and, and at least take a punch now. Do you know, mm -hmm. if it ain't going my way, at least I can stand there and, and I can take the punch, you know what I mean? So it's giving me a bit of confidence that way as well. And you have so, got a wicked, wicked signature uppercut, mate. Yeah. That, that you throw a little bit raw, but bloody hell it lands and it does damage when it does land. Yeah, it gets through, doesn't it, somehow. <laughs> you know, just need to uh, neaten it up a bit and set it up a bit better, disguise it and then... I think you are, though, mate. Yeah. I've just seen massive improvements, like I say, was it six months, was it February that defeat came? Uh, I think it was, wasn't it? February, February March time, I think. Yeah. Might have been April, it were. April, was it, was April. It, yeah, yeah. April, well, so yeah. what was it, six months ago or something? Yeah. You don't look like the same fighter, mate. No, I think I have come on loads, you know, I've been, been at gym as much as I can, um, training hard with Alex, uh, and I've just had a lot of sparring with him, and I think it's, it's helping me come on. Well, like I said, you've had a chance to be a little bit older now, yeah. uh, you've got the weight winning out of the way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and which I don't think you might have been saved in that way, yeah, but yeah. Um, you know what I mean. And, uh, and now, this has gone now, hasn't it? And, and now, and now you've been put on the undercard of a massive show at Manchester Arena. Yeah, Huey Fury and Joseph Parker, uh, the world title fight. So yeah, it's, it's good. No, but it's these good. are these are shows that you dream of getting oh, on, yeah, don't they? And yeah. so I, I can presume that you must be buzzing about this. Yeah, it's, it's a dream, isn't it? It's, it's everyone's dream to box in a big arena like that. So and on a heavyweight world title yeah, fight as well. Yeah. I mean, that's something that when you're my age and you sit back, you can look back and go, yeah, I was there that night. Yeah, I was there when Huey won it. Yeah, I was going to say, if he yeah. wins, which I'm pretty sure he's got it, you know. Yeah, and I never thought, you know, a few years ago, I always thought, mm, Huey should be a cruiserweight. But actually, he's not. He's a bloody giant, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big lad, isn't he? He is. Yeah. And, and this is another thing that you're telling me, that next fight might be... At super middleweight? Yeah, super middleweight. My weight's coming down. I've stayed active since my last fight, not had any time off. So it looks like I'm going to be doing it at super middleweight. So, yeah, it should, should be a bit more exciting, really, that way. That's impressive, that, mate, because yeah. uh, I would have never thought that. I always thought you were going to be a light heavyweight yeah. every day, and uh, you're going to be massive at super middleweight. So, hopefully, you'll. Uh, it makes some unrolled in 2018 will be the year where we can start seeing your progress and yeah. say get some stoppages hopefully as well. 
Yeah, well, yeah, quite a few as an amateur. I yeah. remember videoing one or two of them. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I know you can whack hard. Well, yeah. At super middleweight, I presume you're going to be really dangerous. Yeah, I hope so. so right. See how it goes and then go from there, really. All right, Vicky. Well, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, I really enjoyed well. those four rounds. Yeah, thanks a lot. Looking forward to seeing you on the twenty third because I presume yeah. you're going to go down there because we've got a few lads on that show that night. Yeah. yeah. So uh, hopefully, I'll be chatting to you with uh, win number four behind your name. Yeah, definitely. Cheers, Lee. Take care. Thanks man. a lot. Bye.